Okay, hey guys, it's me Albert down here at Reed. Um, another little quick video, I'm gonna show you how to neutralize the cylinders or stroke change to kind of deadhead them. What this does, what this accomplishes is neutralize your cylinders by putting you know, the guys back east that let your pump sit for a couple months in the winter time. Every hydraulic system has a leak. Every cylinder is gonna leak a little bit of oil. Every stroke, it drops a little bit of oil by. And what happens is eventually that oil gets more and more and more and more to the point where you are now short stroking. And what I mean by that is this, you guys, I'm putting it in my little model I made down here. And this is, a, you know, I made a pump cell. And basically here are your prox switches, here are your hydraulic cylinders, here are your couplers. Here's your couplers in your water box, and here's your cups. So every stroke, you know, you're stroking, you're pumping, stroke, stroke. But now, like I said, a little bit of oil will get by your cylinders every stroke. And when that happens eventually now, it is too much oil in your slave loop. And that happens, so you're now there. So now instead of doing 100% of a stroke, you're doing 80% of your stroke. And then again, you're doing now 60%. And every time you go a little, 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 till eventually you're doing this. It's called popcorning. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's caused because there's too much oil in your slave loop. Now we do have check valves in place on reeds. And what they do is every time you come all the way to the end of stroke, your check valve will take oil and remove oil and add oil to the slave loop. But if there's too much oil, it won't it won't have a chance to get to that check valve, which means it's gonna force the stroke stroke in faster. So how you fix all this is this. You come up to your machine, on the new, new PLC systems, is you have a button called stroke, stroke change. And what's gonna happen when I start this machine, you start it up, you RPM up, you always, 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 you want it at full RPMs when you do this. You, you know, basically by hitting stroke change, you take the proc sensors out of the circuit. So now you're gonna go all the way to the end of stroke and deadhead. You wanna hold that deadhead for about five to six seconds. Okay, then let it change all the way to the end, hit stroke change again, and you're gonna hold it there for five or six seconds. Now we're gonna show you the, what the water box looks like when I'm doing this, and it's gonna be loud, so I'm not gonna explain a whole lot. So you kinda, kinda, kinda just watch what I'm doing. Now you wanna do this, ideally would be the start of every job. You get to your first job in the morning after your machine warmed up, you do this. This will ensure you're starting in the neutral position, not off with oil or too much oil in your loop system, so that way you're gonna cause issue, yourself issues uh, down the line. So, so on my machine, like again, it's gonna be a little bit loud, not gonna be able to hear me perfectly. I go, started it, I've been clearing stuff. Gotta wait. That's clear. Again, full RPM. Getting you guys this is a real quick video on how to neutralize the cylinders. That's how you do it on the new PLC systems. Now, on the older systems, from 07 to 2015, 2016, we use this design. This has a stroke change switch. And you just gotta kinda hold down one side and then hold down the other. Now let's say you have a machine going all the way from 2006 to older. On the black box controls, we used a toggle switch as well, but it would say pump, uh, it would say um, AB, cylinder AB. So you hold A side, wait five seconds, and then you'll hold B side, pressurize five, six seconds. And that will cover you all the way down to, I think, the 80s. So the, again, you guys, this is just a real quick view of how to neutralize your cylinders. It is always a good idea to neutralize your cylinders at the start of every job. 
Also, you know, after a couple days of your pump sitting, rainy days, cold weather, after you heat up your circuit, your system, always a good idea just to do this and make sure you're starting out neutral. You don't want to start out with more oil on one side than the other. You're just going to give yourself headaches. All right, guys, so until next time, it's me, Albert, down here at Reed. Have a good day.